Hi everyone, thank you for watching another episode here in the fish room. Today we're going to be talking about some very big fish. Yes, they may start off pretty small, but these are going to be tank busters, as, I, as what I like to consider them. Uh, now what I consider a tank buster is going to be something like these little guys right now. Uh, these are going to be Oscars. These are a South and Central American kind of cichlid. Uh, you will find them very commonly in a lot of different stores, especially here in our location. As we like to keep a plethora of them, whether they're uh, the albino tigers or the traditional tigers, we just keep them in an assorted tank. Uh, now, with these guys, they might be maybe an inch or two right now, but these guys are going to be something that are going to grow about maybe 16 inches in time. Uh, so do be prepared for something to get very large inside of your aquarium, uh, as these guys are going to grow very rapidly as well. They're best to just keep them and start them off in a 55 gallon aquarium. If you put them in something too small, they might have a little bit more conditions and medical problems coming along the way. Uh, you don't want to stunt their growth, especially as these guys are going to be something that wants to get in a larger size. Uh, so I usually recommend keep it at a 75 gallon, you'll be safe the whole way through. Now they are going to have a little bit of compatibility problems with other fish as you don't want to keep them with anything too small as if it fits in their mouth they will eat it. Uh, so when they're at a full size fish don't try and get a fish that's going to get big but as a juvenile because he will get terrorized. Uh, but if you get them all started off at the around the same time make sure you watch his growth. You can actually keep them with different types of other monster fish like bala sharks, jaguar cichlids and species right, like that. So if you want something that's going to live perfectly in that side of that tank with maybe an oscar or some sort of other large fish, right back to it, the bala sharks right here are a great, great choice. And these guys are very communal in a larger aquarium. Once again, don't keep these guys with smaller fish. They will folks fall uh, predator towards them. Uh, so you want to make sure that you keep these guys in a couple numbers as well. Uh, so having three, four, maybe even five of them inside of maybe a 75 Five gallon is going to be something very very good. These guys are going to live about 10 years so make sure you do give them that long term home. Uh, so these guys can be compatible with Oscars as long as you make sure you're maybe you're playing with that 75 gallon. Another one I would love to talk about is one that gets very very beautiful tints of blue inside of them and that is going to be the Jaguar Sticklets. Right now these guys do know I'm here and they're very personable so they're all grouping up towards the top back. There has to be maybe at least maybe 30 of them inside of this one tank. But these guys love to run around and swim and hide. Uh, they're very, very personable with not only each other. Now we don't generally say keeping these fish with other fish, these species, or this fish specifically is going to be a species that's best kept alone. Uh, so you don't want to put too many other bigger fish with them. And the reason why these guys are best kept alone is because they get about 16 inches. That is a very, very large fish and these guys get very, very territorial and they are highly aggressive. Uh, so I definitely would recommend keeping these guys solo, just like maybe some of our red devil cichlids as well. Those guys are also going to get maybe 8 to maybe 12 inches. Some of them I have seen get a little bit bigger than that, and those guys are going to have some pretty nasty teeth, and they're also best kept alone. Alright, and last but certainly not least, we're going back to a fish that we have reviewed before, and that is going to be our common Trinidad Pleco. Yes, you guys have, are aware that these guys can reach almost two feet, if not a little bit bigger than two feet. Uh, these guys are beasts in the fish room, and they are very small. So if you ever wanted to keep these guys, I definitely recommend start them off. If you wanted the upgrade process in a 55, then go to 100, and then a 150, but I recommend a 200 or more. These guys are going to get two feet long. You're going to want to make sure that they can turn comfortably inside of the aquarium. Any fish tank that's smaller than two foot is not going to have the dimensions wide enough to keep these guys very healthy and happy. These guys can't be with some of those aggressive fish as they do have a very hard armor plated backing. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, comment down below what you guys want to see in the future one. And if you guys want to see anything special that you guys enjoy or keep for yourselves. So let me know down in the comments and we'll make sure that we make that a future one. See you guys in the next one.